Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, February 12th, the last week in the, after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 1 to 8, and Philippians 4, verse 1 to 9. And please join me in chanting uh, the third verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. In you I put my trust let me never be ashamed. Psalm 31, and please recite it with me. In you I put my trust, <clears throat> let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bend your ear to me and deliver me speedily. Be my strong rock, a castle to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid for me for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. I have hated them that regard worthless idols, but I trust in you. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in distress. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large open place. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. In you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown. Stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge Euodia and I urge Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church, and all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us and guide us, O God, and take us out of the net the wicked have set for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.